windows Well, must be daytime, I Oh! Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Right, uh, what do you give me for these? I sort of... I don't know if anyone will use them, but... I give special rates to members of the Thieves' Guild. Show me what you've got. Well... I've got a bunch of stuff. Let's see... Uh, there's... So, in case you're interested... Someone down in... <laughs> uh, the depths of... Someone down in the basement of Honeybrew Meadery... Was collecting stuff. And, uh... I, he had quite a collection. I'm keeping that one. Uh, who could use this? Let's do that. And this, because I did steal that. And also those, but. Well, let's see. Do you have anything that can help me? That. And possibly this. That'll do. Let's see. What else did I steal? Well, that. And... This. Right. A good trade, I hope. Mm hmm. Good. It's nice getting some actual luck down here, isn't it? Enjoy your place. Right. Uh, I've also got jobs for them, but, um. Right, Devin. So, what could I do for you today? A couple of things. Uh, first of all, I don't know if you've ever heard of Lost Port Cavern, but I found the place. They've got my ship. And I need some hands on deck, as it were. And in a dish, in, uh, in exchange. How about. W would you be interested in taking this off my hands? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. Thank you very much, Delvin. And I know I've still got that job for you. Remember, keep it clean. We don't want blood on our hands. <laughs> right. Uh, besides the, uh, the dead skeever guy in the basement of Huntingbrew, I suppose. And I'm guessing Brynjolf is going to want to see this. But yeah, I can find my way around down here. The bill of sale. Who left that open? Let's see. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Bad luck, brother. Talk about that suit of leather armor you sold. The fasteners are already coming loose. Fine. It'll be five septums to repair it. Why should I pay for a repair on something I just bought? All right, all right. Just bring it to me tomorrow. And well, I'll, I'll be. What's he doing up there? 
up here in this armour. Eh. Checking out the meat, are you? Maven wants to see you right away. I suggest you head right over. Oh. I'm looking for a necklace. Do you have anything Uh, where'd I leave Maven? If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. You've been in Riften for quite some time now, Lady Mule. I fear that you soon may leave us. Riften has problems of its own. Now is not the time for exploration. No. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. If you were to leave, so. I'd miss you terribly. Eren, I owe hey, you my you. life. Get off your lazy it tail would take a take threat to all of Skyrim. Right. Keep your scales on. I forgot about Talon. Hang on. Hi. You want a drink? Uh, no, but uh, thanks. Just get out of here. I will. Give me a second. You're gonna come running back over? No. All right. Business. I trust you have good news for me. I do. The job's finished. Here's the information. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. Stupid lizard. Right. Give me some more drink. And we've I'll seen this symbol before. Bike. Well, whoever this Goes. mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find Damn. this more than adequate for your saying. services. Uh, right, thanks very much. I was actually going to bring this to the guild the first and then found Brini off outside in uniform. Anyway, uh, I've actually got a price on my head here. And you think that I care? Interesting. I don't believe in getting my hands dirty. You have people that handle those sort of things. Use them. Fair enough. Out of my way. Riften has problems of its own. Now is not the time for exploration and discovery. I'm relieved to hear you say that. If you were to leave, I'd miss you. Right. A little louder in there. That isn't a Riften guard uniform. Interesting. And of course he's gone. As soon as I walk out. What's this nonsense I've been hearing? How dare you call Bully a deadbeat? If he paid what he owes, I wouldn't have to say anything. Besides, what in oblivion <laughs> do you care? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Niv. We both Eesh. know you married that fisherman for his gold. You don't need to put on your watch for me. Uh... Well, when in doubt. Back to the right way. Protect yourself right. Buy armor. Well, at least they cleared the bodies out. bring you off down here? That's the question. Hello, Devin. He is. He's probably back in here, isn't he? So he's not going to make me check every, absolutely every corner of this place again. Lantern. Oh, I. He's going to send me on a wild skeever chase again. Hold a moment, Rune. What did you think about my idea? Your idea to start a brothel, right? Do you want to 
want me to tell you exactly what I think? Well, yes, please. I think if Brynjolf catches wind of it, he'll push you right out of here. Right, so that's why they won't talk to me. That actually makes a certain amount of sense. Well, alright, it was easier this time. Excuse me. Hey, Bryn. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yet very fortunate for Maven, and for us. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Well, sort of. The same symbol from Golden Glow, basically. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Smart, I think. Although... <laughs> anyway. Is there anything we can do about this? Besides trying to hunt down whoever might know about that symbol? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Great. And where's... I'm just going to follow you because I don't have any idea where he is. Excuse me. Good. It's a little cramped down here, isn't it? Claustrophobic. Be in here somewhere, right? I would assume. Just somewhere that I haven't. Wait a minute. Well, that's interesting. Oh. So, uh, that's a confusing little entrance. Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. Right, well, I found the same market in Honey Brew Meadery. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Right, you've got a... This is sort of awkward given my height, sorry about that. So, uh, you sound like you admire them. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Right, and how are we going to go about that, exactly? Because, even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Slimy bastard. And where do I find this slimy bastard? Golomai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Right. Uh. You drop this. What? Anyway. Uh, right, I can see you're busy. And that means out I go. Oh. 
This is a very awkward door. Yes, it is. All right, radio. I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Oh, so I'll take it you heard all of that then? Think he'll give me trouble? Trouble? Huh. He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. And a long, long way to solitude. That's fine. And I'll get him to talk. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gollum I, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Right. He's gonna owe us. Assuming he's betrayed us. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Aye, aye. So what exactly does this li scheming lizard, as you've, so to as you've said, how is he an asset to the guild? Gullamai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. Right. <laughs> so you're basically pirates without the extra... Riggin. <laughs> Good luck in solitude. Keep Golemai alive, but remind him who we are. Aye, aye. Easy enough, probably. Right. The cows in Skyrim. Are very fluffy. I'm learning things. Excuse me. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Gosh. It is sort of cold, and it's the type of cold that sticks to you. Right. I'm looking for an Argonian. Not a hulker. Oh. So, what do we have here? Hmm. Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. You told Mercer, did you? Interesting. Anyway, I'm here about Golden Glow Estate. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Look, you can drop the act now, God, you lie. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? You're a terrible liar. You know that, right? You acted as a broker for its new owner. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Well, that would make you a very, very poor... broker, wouldn't it? Look, identify them, and we'll forget what we know. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Okay. Maybe this will offset the ruin a little bit then. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. You want me to break into a palace? 
fine. Well, I don't look like I fit in. Right. Well, let's... Pretty sure I know where the palace is. The trick, of course, is... Will it be open at this hour? First of all, let's go a fancy stall. They both do. And also, I can hear the windmill. <laughs> Tag, you're it. Oh, I'm hungry. Can we get some food instead? I'm not playing with you, Kide. You play me. So I've got this place all boarded up. Right, there's the palace. How am I going to fit in up here? Do I have anything on me that... Besides a absolute... <sighs> right, let's see. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. The Empire, our sacrifices will be well rewarded. Listen to you, speaking of sacrifice. You've never gone hungry a day in your life, Eriker. Simple. Let the Empire fight its own war, with its own funds, and without hijacking our supplies and soldiers. Let Hafingar rebuild. My lady, surely you're not that naive. Such foolishness would only leave us defenseless. The rebels would storm the palace in an afternoon. The Stormcloaks only rebel because the Empire uses Skyrim as its personal larder. The more they take, the more support the rebels gain. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, hello. Sorry. Um, I'm new round here. Need something? Well, nope. All uh, right then. Yep, I'm just moving along. Gods. Situational awareness. Right. I know a couple of things. And that is that walking in with weapons drawn is probably a bad idea. This doesn't exactly look better. Do I look like I'm here to work? Eh, not really. Can't say I'm a fan of this. Oh well. Holy, all right. Steward, when is my appointment to meet with General Tullius? There are some issues we must... Ah, I'm just here for the interview. I'm afraid he's had to reschedule, my grace. By all accounts, waging war takes his every moment. Again? He can't simply cancel an appointment with a Jarl. He serves in my capital oh. city. I'm afraid he well. can. His authority comes from the Emperor, who you also serve, technically. All right. He uses all of Hafingar's resources and doesn't answer to me in the slightest. This hardly seems fair. Fair is a word rarely applied. To Wrong interview. Right. Well. Oh, there we are. I have good instincts. 
If nothing else. Solitude is very, very quiet in the snow. It's also the middle of the night, I suppose. Perfect time for thieves to be running around being sneaky. Unfortunately, God, she looked like moving. Stealth is not my strong suit. <laughs> Oh, I'll probably just draw more attention to myself out here. Oh well. Back to the lizard. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. Think I got a clean We drink to something. our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is oh, just Oh, this is about going to be painful, done. isn't it? Ah, I see we'll you have the wine. Hand it over, storm, and we'll talk. We here you are. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. So you're trying to bribe me now? Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Did she say why she was doing this? Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. Right. Oh, that's it? No name or anything? In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. I think you're lying to me. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Great, okay. Seems there's always more to be done. And the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborns come. Just gonna let him be on his way then. Alternatively, I'll wait for him outside. Now he knows I'm watching him. It makes sense. As long as it keeps going. Probably a stupider lizard than I thought he was. I think I know where he's going. Because if he's the contact at the East Empire Company trading house, then... In theory, he's headed to the trading house, isn't he? Guess we'll see. There he goes. He doesn't know I'm up here. Right, should be able to see him if he comes around here. The trick after that will be getting down. There he 
There he is. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, nope. There he is. Never claimed to be the stealthiest orc ever. He absolutely knows I'm up here. Where's he going? Oh, there he is. That could have ended poorly. Oh, all right. So she's a big place, ain't she? Okay. Really want to piss off the East Empire Company. I probably look like a thief. Oh, this is bad. But. Right. Let's just see how this goes, eh? Where is he? Oh, I see him. The only I go need in the place. People sleeping up here. Okay. Is someone there? Well. Nope, no one's here. Come on. I'm sure you did too, but don't mention it. Come on. My height has one advantage. He's gone over there, hasn't he? Right. supposed to be here. Is he talking to me? Last warning. Leave now. Oh, 
Oh, we absolutely know zombie here. Huh? Shoot. Well. Ah. Ah. Oh, that right up. <laughs> I should know better than to think that I can jump over those. Did however miss that? Now, right. What was oh. that? Thought I heard something. <laughs> oh, great! I'll spin you up on this. Your archer buddy is really getting on my nerves. Nice. Take that. Might wear it. Heh. <laughs> right, go him. Okay, so that's how this is gonna go, I see. I ain't going in there. No way. There's someone there? Damn. You'll pay for this. Me? Coward. Surely you jest, sir. Nothing really. Oh god. A couple of them hit me pretty good. Oh, I've got poisons. I poisoned the sharp end of this hammer. I'm just gonna grab one of those real quick. Save the rest in case I come up on something. That really wants me dead. Like that. What was that? You're gonna die for that. Sorry, but thank you. Right, these are these people aren't dressed in the East Empire uniform. Someone there. Which means they're fair game. Oh, we've also got a snazzy thing there. Let's see. Probably be checking to see if any of these blokes have lockpicks on them. However, uh, now ain't this a surprise? Oh yeah. Sure does. <laughs> you got there, right? Hello. Someone firing at my back. Hello. Oh, hey, there's the scheming lizard. Oh, Duh, right in the chest. Good. Ah, I don't like that. Out of this. No more. 
I yield! I yield! I don't think you do. I heard you pull that knife. So you. Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. <laughs> Look. Look. Mercer doesn't have to know. Alright? And besides, you don't have to worry about him right now. You've got to worry about the big orc with the big hammer. Alright, alright. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. You say that name like I should know it. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Right. And where's Carlia now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. All right, all right. You've convinced me for now. You behave yourself or you'll be getting another visit from me, understood? Right, I'm new to the guild. Captain Atla Greyarsgart at your service. I'm the muscle. <laughs> <laughs>